Greetings and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so I got another Dell in and I've never done a pre-Dell video. So I'm gonna do a quick pre-Dell video. So the first thing I do usually is uh, give it a good blowout with the air compressor. I take off the front panel and remove all this plastic. It just kind of snaps out. So I remove all that. This front gets removed and I cut it, you know, right about here along the edges. As long as you have some place to, and I drill a couple holes in down here and try to remove all this metal as, mo as best I can, but I leave a little bit down here so I can have uh, a hole, drill a hole for a fan screw to mount it in the bottom. Once they're mounted, you don't really have to worry about wire tying them anywhere, but you can. So that's top, then remove that, and then you have to drill out this cage. This cage has to go. So you have to drill out these rivets all these right here to get the cage out and it doesn't like to come out and it usually fights me right down here and so there's that and then these things I usually bend them up but I think this time I'm gonna try to cut them out because they have these uh, little lips on them right here and I want to put something in there I want to keep it flat because I put the, I usually put the SSD and a hard drive in there if I have enough room. But I don't have a lot enough room with these because I have to add a power adapter to it. And these take up some room. So they're kind of bulky. So I usually end up taking all this and stuffing it in there. And I usually have to remove, and the last one I did, because of this adapter, I usually have to remove the CD-ROM so I can have more room in there. But this time out, I'm going to see if I can just get away with an SSD. I have a 500 gigabyte SSD, so maybe I won't put a hard drive in there. Just keep it and then shove that in there. Because these Dells have a weird power connector. And let's see, this time, oh, I do have... A RGB fan for the back so I did buy one this time I was gonna um, not replace these fans but since I already have them I'll at least do this one and sometimes I buy a thermal take white fan to replace this but this time I'm just gonna keep it stock and just take off this fan when I re uh, paste the CPU I'll put this back on it I do have a thermal take around but I don't think it's super necessary it's just an aesthetic thing, and I, I kind of want to replace these fans because <clears throat> it's like the only mechanical part. Um, so, yeah, replacing the fans is yeah, whatever. Anyway, so the RAM's on the way. GPU is the last thing to come in. Um, don't have a power supply yet, but that has to come out. And sometimes I have to cut out this back metal piece back here to get the power supply and if I'm too lazy to uh, just remove the motherboard but I think this time I'll do it right just remove the motherboard uh, but I don't have a power supply right now so anyways just keep that in for now uh, Rams on the way uh, Kingston HyperX 1600 is 20 bucks so that fan that this fan here where is that I think this is like nine bucks from Australia and then here's the uh, fan controller that's going to go in it. And then I've got some thermal, some Santa fans here. And I think I have a couple, two more. Yeah, I got two more. Great. Two more thermal takes for the intake in the front. So that'll be all removed, and I'll have two 120 millimeter RGB fans hooked up. So it is a process. I mean, it is a process. And then I usually take the stickers off that and I'll take it out to the garage and give that a paint. So it has that new new, new car smell. Um, yeah, there's a little switch back here. Push that down when this is all done. It, it slides out. So, yeah. Oh, and you can take this off, take the spring off. I save the spring because these, these can be used in, like, some Ataris. You don't really need that. Get rid of that. 
Yep, so that's your pre-Dell video. Oh, and I do like to remove all these little tags because they're unsightly. And then, you know, obviously cable manage all of it a little bit better. I do keep the speaker in there and I do keep the, uh, or something else, like a some sort of sensor, intrusion sensor or something. Anyway, yeah, so I get these for 50 bucks and then it's just work, work, work. And uh, it's a good way to pass the time. I sell them for about 300, 350, and someone gets a cheap, good, solid computer. Hopefully, I can find another. The last one had a 1660 Ti. Uh, that was just much better than the RX 580, and they're more common, and it fit better. <clears throat> so I'll probably look for another one of those, little uh, like an MSI Ventus. Those fit in here pretty good. One of the last ones I did was uh, had an RX 580 out of China. It, I had to cut the case to get past the these uh, tabs, RAM tabs. So that was kind of a pain, but that's what the Dremel's for. Anyway, there is your official Dell pre-work video. And uh, I'll do one coming back, and this thing will be up and running at some point. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck on your Dell. Should you decide to do one of these, if you can get them cheap enough, they're great. This has an i7-4770. All right. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm, I felt I've been mistreated here. Bye-bye.